Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the Yard Holistic Killer, aka Sonya B. So I am back with another urgent prophetic message. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the discussion. I want to let you guys know that if you feel like this message does not apply to you and you watch it to the very end, just keep in mind that if it, it's not happening to you or you have kids or grandkids, nieces, nephew, or you have friends who have kids and you know they are within your immediate environment, this could be a message for them as well too to let you know of something that they possibly experience. Okay, so if you should be have if you should know someone who's experiencing something of this you know share this video with them in a sense so that way it can kind of help guide them on their journey okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the discussion and even if this energy should not be here right now i true this energy could be happening within a couple of weeks from now so keep that in mind as well too okay um you always hear me say that so just because something may not apply at this exact moment does not mean that it may not necessarily apply in the near future again two weeks from now a month from now two months from now. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. So this urgent message that I have, this urgent message is pertaining to our children. Okay. And I say all that to say that be mindful because this message is for those people who necessarily grew up, not necessarily teaching them, teaching their children how to protect themselves spiritually. Okay. This message is for you. Okay. Not those people who have already known how to show their children how to protect themselves spiritually. Okay. Um, but it's more so of, of you guys who have had your history washed white okay that has been whitewashed so i say all that to say that this is a message to again show you how to or not show you this is a message to warn you that you should teach or start showing your kids or revealing to your kids having those conversations with your kids in regards to their spiritual gifts in a sense all right if you are aware of the gifts that they have well most likely thank you spirit most likely i just heard that whatever gifts you have your children also have the same gift okay and some may have something that's a little bit more than what you have so be mindful of that as well too so if you have been someone who has been an, an observant of your spiritual gifts, you should have that conversation with your kids. It's important to do so. And the reason why I say that is because in the prophetic message, it was like as if I was like uh, uh, practicing my spiritual gifts in a sense, but I wasn't necessarily telling my children in the dream. I wasn't necessarily telling my children in a dream, but this was like somebody having a conversation with someone else. Okay. And it was like the other person said, well, you know, I always teach my daughter how to protect herself spiritually. So that way if something happens, you know, she'll protect herself. Okay. So I say all that to say that we're in this day and time since 2020, um, the whole shutdown and everything else, you know, God was shifting things then as well. Okay. So because he was shifting things at that moment, it's almost like we kind of started fighting fighting or oh, we almost not fighting we well we was fighting but spiritually in a sense it's almost like we started experiencing things like spiritual warfare okay from uh, whether it be spiritual attacks from other people whether it be dealing with other people who was experiencing you know uh dealing with things like hexes and curses and black magic and witchcraft you know uh well black magic who was directing it at other people for their own selfish gains and so on and so on but i say all that to say that a lot of those people who had been doing those things had basically taught their children. If they didn't teach their children, they basically, their children grew up watching them do certain things. So now it's almost like uh, you're being guided to to not necessarily do what they're doing, okay? Because I say all that this is not about paying evil for evil, but what this is about, your gifts are meant to protect you and your gifts are meant to help you to help others, okay? Not to just have selfish intent with them okay but you do what it will you will but just know that eventually karma is going to come a knocking okay because god gave us our spiritual gifts to use it for the good and not to be misused okay and so many people have misused their gifts in the sense of and i get it i just heard spirit say some was trying to understand what this was or what this power was and some possessed this all along that when it started to be revealed to them of just their power it's almost like okay well now you know god was allowing it to be all over the place but now as god is reeling them in in a sense it's like hey i need you to straighten up and fly right act right okay and um with that being said i saw 222 and let me give you this sorry being divinely guided to give you this message of two, two, two. Okay. And I say all that to say, and it says, it says, stop worrying. Everything is working out just, just as it's supposed to trust, trust that you are on the right path, the right one, the right, the right time. Trust in what you want. Don't think of things you don't want when you see this number. Okay. And with that being said, um, 
<laughs> bear with me, y'all. I just saw the 444 as well, too. And it says, you are completely surrounded by angels. You are being guided through whatever you are focusing on. The protection. The universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. Pay, pay attention to your thoughts and your environment when you see this number, okay? And with that being said, um, I say all that to say because I was a little hesitant because I always want to make sure any information that I'm giving, that I want to make sure that I'm giving it from the divine spirit of light's point of view and not my own personal point of view. I always try to sit myself down and implement what it is that God wants, okay? And sometimes I have to catch myself before I come on camera. Not all the time, but I usually always try to tell God that, you know, allow his will to be done and not mine, okay? Anyway, um... So again, that's just me practicing the, the fact of uh, just knowing that it's not my will being done, but his, it's his will being done, okay? And just as I said that, I see 555. <laughs> so let me tell you what 555 five, five, five usually represents change. So it says, huge changes are ahead. Trust that this transition is your highest good. Prepare for massive shift. Things are getting exciting. Okay, and it says the change. A change is occurring. The universe is moving things around. When you see this number 555, okay, which is interesting because that represents, again, change, as I said. So, um, but anyway, so with that being said, um, in this dream, uh, it was about teaching your children how to protect themselves spiritually. Again, it's not about them, you know, misusing their gifts, but using their gifts to protect themselves, okay? So in other words, they're not initiating a fight or a spiritual fight, okay? They're not pushing that stuff off on anyone else, but it's about protecting themselves, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So in other words, if somebody's giving you something, throwing you something that is not yours, that is not yours to hold on to, so you're going to have to teach them how to, you know, whatever, I'm going to let you handle that because, again, every household is different. But with that being said, it's about teaching them how to do things in a way that no hurt, no harm is being done in a sense, okay, uh, to anyone. So anyway, so this next dream that I saw was it's urgent message pertaining to our children, okay? And the children part is there was like a child, the child was probably about four or five years old, and the child was like, Imagine like an ambulance being up on a patio, but that was just the urgency of it. Like uh, the ambulance was driving fast and it ended up on a patio, the the deck, excuse me, the deck. Um, and then somehow it went over the railing of the deck and down into the embankment, okay? Uh, a little embankment in the backyard. So I say all that to say that ambulance usually represent like uh, Archangel Michael in a sense. And, and usually when you hear the sirens going off, that means like it's some sort of urgency of something, you know, Archangel Michael's on the scene in a sense. But not only that, but usually, you know, when we see ambulance, that means that someone is in, in need of some sort of assistance, okay? So because this child was inside, because this child was inside and had drove the am lamps over the railing of the deck let me give you this real quick so it says ambulance the spiritual meaning of ambulance it ties together to the idea of crisis and need to be nurtured and, and need to be a nurture of something okay guidance in making directional choices okay so if you think about it inside the ambulance they have everything that they need inside the ambulance to to allow them to try to sustain life until they make it to the hospital okay but because there was no hospital involved and there was just a child in there and drove you know i went to the truck after it went down into the little embankment asked the child was there okay pretty much and you know just trying to figure out what was going on with them in a sense and then it skipped scenes okay so it skipped scenes from that so and then it was another situation to where it was like driving in a car and a child was sitting in like in a booster seat okay so be mindful of this a child sitting like in a booster seat got out of their seat that was in the front seat of the car and they jumped over into their parents lap because they were afraid of something because that's how i got it like they were afraid of something like they seen something something had frightened them and um it caused them to really get out of their seat you know and you know when you're in your seat driving you the kids usually know okay buckle up be safe in a sense and to really get out of your seat it was obviously for them in an urgent situation okay so be mindful of that so if you see your children start to becoming fearful of you know just uh not wanting to be alone or being i guess just uh constantly always being around you in a sense and you're not really sure what's just kind of taking place with them in a sense um you can 
uh, you guys can feel free to reach out to me if you want and book a consultation service and I can kind of help guide you through that situation in a sense of what's possibly transpiring with them in a sense, okay? Um, but I want to tell you that um, I just want to let you know that there are choices that you have in order to handle this situation. You have the choices of kind of doing things how society tells you to kind of do it, you know, get your child, you know, evaluated and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. I'm just giving you the heads up. But at the same time, there's also the metaphysical world that can help assist on this journey as well, too. And the metaphysical world are more familiar with the unseen forces rather than normal society standards where they basically base things off just science in a sense, okay, or just their research or their knowledge okay so i just want to let you know that you always have choices okay and don't feel like you're always uh that you have you do what's best for your child in any situation or any circumstances okay so anyway but the point i'm trying to make is um just be mindful and watch out for your children okay because like i said they're dealing with something that uh they're not used to dealing with and it can kind of help the catch the parents off guard and kind of make them feel a certain type of way as well too of not knowing what to do and i just heard spirits say be they feel a little vulnerable and exposed of you know of of not being able to kind of feel like they can help their child in a sense okay so anyway um this next message came off as uh okay so look at this as a situation because this is how i saw it You know how the Marvel movies, how we have the superheroes, let's just say that we're stepping into our superpowers, okay? And our superpowers are, again, you have those who are the villains, and then you have those who are, I don't want to, you have those who really try to fight for the, not just for selfish reasons, but for themselves to protect the planet and protect everyone else. Then you have the other people who, like I said, the villains who have their own hidden agendas that they want to operate because they want to be in control and so on and so on. So it's almost like that. You know, you're teaching your children how you're teaching them kind of like what side they're going to kind of be on in a sense. Are they going to use their gifts for good? Are they going to use their gifts for misuse in a sense but just know that there's karma that comes along with that like i said i just want to warn people because it's almost like you know and i just saw two 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 again and um i say all that to say just know that every path is going to eventually lead back to the right path so even if you make a mistake in showing them certain ways you know just know that you are you may have to learn some lessons along the way but just know that you know um all paths will eventually lead back to the right path okay uh, but hopefully too much karma is not accumulated by getting off the path and going back to the right path so anyway so just imagine it kind of being like the justice league in a sense of people i don't i don't want to say the justice league because i don't even know really what their agenda was but i just want to say like you know again whether it's the villains or you have those who are really just fighting for the planet you know fighting for the planet and fighting for the people and themselves because they just want to you know keep everything in harmony in a sense while uh other people have their own hidden agendas okay for selfish reasons anyway so this other dream that I saw was some of you guys, you should be mindful, okay? Because this could be happening physically or this could be happening spiritually, okay? And I just want to warn you, like some of you guys, there may be people that may try to come around you. So be mindful because remember, if you're someone who is highly sensitive or if you are someone who is an empath, and I know sometimes people want to be in denial, like I'm not sensitive, I'm not sensitive. Let me explain something to you. Sensitive does not mean that, oh my God, you sit here crying, you boohooing, okay? Sensitive just means that honestly you have a heart of God and I say that to say because some of some some people can love people to a fault even if they are doing wrong okay and I say all that to say that sometimes you have to distance yourself from those people who who are doing wrong okay because if not it's just like you are part you have how can I say it if not it's almost just like somebody who takes part in uh stealing you you you're part of the problem because you're there you're associated with the problem in a sense okay so sometimes we as people have to learn to let go and focus on ourselves in a sense and stop worrying about you know trying to uh take everyone else with you in a sense okay because everybody is on a different path everybody's at different levels and everybody have different lessons that they have to learn okay so what lessons that you may be having to learn is probably letting go okay where you're someone who's trying to hold on tight because i know for myself when i first started this journey 
I just saw 444 as I said that when I first started this journey God was like I need you to open your hand because when I love I love heart and I I love I, I keep my loved ones close in a sense so it was like God was like I need you to open your hand and I was like oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so that was the hardest thing I ever had to do. So I say all that to say that just letting go and letting God was actually a good thing because I was able to, uh, one, release attachments in a sense, okay, of just allowing people to live their lives, not just living their life, not saying I was controlling their lives, but just allowing them to make their own choices and not having any influences over what choices that they chose to make, okay? Anyway, so, um, but the point I'm trying to make, and there are also some people who are coming into their spiritual gifts that they kind of like need guidance in a sense. And I say all that to say, because some people may find themselves like doing things like, um, astral planning, remote viewing, astral projecting in a sense. Okay. And those things, uh, it's a, because the way I saw it was like, as if somebody was doing astral projecting or remote viewing in a sense, and they went in but it's almost like they kind of got a little it's almost like going into the like when neo and um and trinity was in the matrix and they got on the telephone booth because they needed an exit or they needed to know how to get out of the building in a sense it was kind of almost like that in a sense okay so instead of them taking another exit and going in and going out they had to go back out the same way that they came in okay so anyway, and I got that there was like someone who was an amateur, okay? Someone who was an amateur and didn't kind of really know what they was doing in a sense, okay? But anyway, so... But some of you guys are gonna... You're gonna be really surprised by some people's energy, like... Uh, you're gonna be really surprised by some people. You're gonna... You have slept on some people in a sense, and there are gonna be some people that kind of rise up, and you're gonna be like... Oh, in a sense. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to just leave it at that because you're, you're not going to even be expecting uh, these people's level of power. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to end it there, but I just wanted to end it on this note. Oh, I do have to read the scriptures. Don't let me forget. Thank you, Lord. Uh, this message says, First John's 4 and 8, and it says, there is no fear, which is funny because I said in the dream, the child was fearful of something, okay? But it says, but perfect love drives out fear, okay? Because fear has to do with punishment, okay? The one whom fears is not made perfect in love, okay? So usually if you find yourself running from something, that just lets you know that, you know, take it how it resonates. I'm going to just let you use your intuition rather than me interpret for you. But anyway, so again, it is... John 4 and 18, there is no fear in love, okay? But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love, okay? So you can interpret that yourself and use your intuition of what you think it's trying to say. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, but please, please, please talk to your teenage kids, uh, adults, if, especially if you are aware of your spiritual gifts. And again, I'm not talking about those people who have already known about these things for years, years and years and years. I'm talking about those people who just kind of came into their spiritual gifts between um, 2020 uh, of, you know, yeah, between 2020, um, I believe it was like March 2020 when the whole shutdown happened, okay? So anyway, that's when all of this was initiated, okay? Anyway, so uh, please protect the babies. And as I said, if you guys need assistance with that, you guys can book a consultation or you can book a Reiki session. And I can kind of help, you know, walk you through that situation in a sense. Um, you guys can visit my website. Um, or you guys can also go over to TikTok and also listen to the message of is your family lineage, you know, cursed or not okay and with that being said i hear a sign right now okay so anyway so with that being said i wish you all much love much light much love <laughs> i wish you all much love and much light until the next message bye